Hi guys, this is Nice Sharma, and in this session, we will discuss the question and answer in Power Automates. These question and answer would be very very helpful for your interview. So let us start. Question number one: What are the four key products under the Power platform? There are four: Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents. Power BI. It's a business tool. Using the Power BI, you can visualize your data in a different shapes, and you can create the reports. And finally, you can publish those reports. Then Power Apps. You can create the your own custom apps, and those apps can be published on the mobile. Power Automate. Power Automate is a service. Basically, it is used for your automate your process, like getting the notification. or like tracking the email or sending the emails regularly then power virtual agents using the power virtual agents you can create a very very powerful chatbots and that chatbots can answer the question raised by the different type of people like the customers employees or other people question number 2 what is an environment an environment is a space to store manage and share organization business data By default, when you work on the Power Automates, there is a default environment, and that environment store your business data, apps, chatbots, and flows, roles, and security. Later on, you can create other environments, and each and every environment would be having its own business data, apps, role, and security. Question number three: What is the difference between the Power Automate and the Power Automate for desktop? power automate power automate like you can build a cloud based flow and you have the more than 500 connections you can use the power automate for like posting a message to the microsoft teams automating approval process creating task in planner getting weather update update arrow in the data world but other hand the power automate for desktop you can use for this power automate for desk for the legacy web legacy means like the old system the system is very old but is still in use because this power automate for desktop it's a tool which enable robotic process automation which is called the rpa and that can be used for the following purpose say executing command in cmd interacting with the email message from the imap or exchange server executing sql commands downloading a file from website using file explorer opening and application and many more question number 4 what is the solution solution is a like a container and that contains the apps components site maps tables process web resources the purpose of the solution is to like when you are suppose you are working on the development mode and now you want to publish or you want to install your product on a final server in that case you can make a solution for all your resources Solution are two types, managed and unmanaged. If we check this diagram, so in first phase we have a solution in development environment. After completing the like our product, then we export as a managed solution, and finally we move this managed solution to the other environment that is the test environment. In this environment, we import as managed solution. Question number five. What are the different types of the flow in the Power Automate? Three types: Cloud Flow, Desktop Flow, and Business Process Flow. Cloud Flow. We can divide this Cloud Flow another in a, another three category: Automated Flow, Instant Flow, and Scheduled Flow. These Cloud Flow basically are the cloud based. And the second one, Desktop Flow. Desktop Flow basically is used for your legacy system or window system. Then third one, Business Process Flow. using this business flow process flow you can set you can create a flow with a some set of rules which can be which should be followed by the some like team or like some employees or some set of people question number 6 what are the sub flow sub flow basically a subset of the main flow suppose we have a flow main flow and it's like logic of this main flow is very very complex so we can divide the logic of that main flow in different section and we can create the many subflow having its own logic later on 
we can call or we can run this sub subflow independently. Question number seven. What are some of the common supported variable data types in Power Automate for desktop? So following are text value, numeric value, boolean value, data table, data row, custom object, mail message, file, folder, and many more. Question number eight. What is the difference between the input output variables and the flow variables? Input and output variables. Basically, these variables are used like when you pass some value from one flow to another flow. So you can use the input or output variables. But flow variables, these flow variables are used within the flow and to store some value. Question number nine. What are the action? An action is a task that is started when a trigger is invoked. Trigger means like uh, you receive a mail and uh, you update the data and like some information is coming to your inbox. So these are the triggers and then you can take some action. And these action depends on the type of the event. Say variables, conditions, flow control, run flow, workstation, scripting, file, HTTP. So for all these categories, there are different actions. Question number 10. What are UI elements? UI elements refer to all graphical user interface piece that construct an application like window, checkbox, text fields, or drop down list. If we check on our automate and on the right side we have this UI elements. If we click that one, then we have window, add UI element, then add a screen. So basically, if I move the mouse, then you can see a red color rectangle. So I can capture anything on this window system. Then create action for that captured element. So this is called the UI element. Question number 11. Name the browser supported by the Power Automate for Dash. To automate web delete task, Power Automate for Dash to provide the automation browser that is pre-configured and works out of the box. Besides this, Microsoft is Internet Explorer, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox are also supported by the Power Automate for Desktop. Question number 12. How do you debugate desktop flow? For debugging the desktop flow, you can take the three steps. Review the errors or you can add the breakpoint or running a desktop flow action by action. If we check the, our desktop flow, and suppose if I put a here, so red circle, this is the debug mark. So when you run this desktop flow, so this execution will stop here. Then you can check step by step or line by line. Or you can run the specific action. Suppose there are multiple actions and right click, then we have the run from here. So you can select a specific action from where you want to run your program to debug the errors. Question number 13. What are some of the best practice when creating a desktop flow? So first one, modularity. It means if there is like a complex or big flow, then you can divide that flow in subflow. Second one, maintainability, good structure and development standard. It means follow the sum standard for your flow. Readability, then meaningful name of the variables, UI elements. It means when you like uh, name the variables or elements, so make sure it makes sense. Flexibility. Keeping environment setting in external configuration file. So you can keep the all external configuration in external files. Reliability. Exception handling. Make sure you handle the exception within the, your program. Extensibility. Ready for the new cases to be in Incorporated. It means if there is a change, if they like the new feature is coming and that the system should be able to adopt that new system. Question number 14. How to share or export a desktop flow? There are three ways. First of all, you can replicate or you can create a clone of the flow. In case of the replicate, replicate the flow and then edit the flow in a designer. Then the receiver can simply paste the text to the flow designer and run it. Second one, share the desktop flow directly through the Power Automate portal. It means there is a feature in the Power Automate where you can share the your flow. 
by putting the email address and make sure that receiver has the permission for that one. Then third one export a solution. So after like uh, you create a solution and then you can export the solution and the other environment can import that solution. Question number 15. What are the data loss prevention? DLP policies. DLP policies. Basically admin of the power automates has a right to like decide what action has to be blocked. Then admin can decide the which action has to access the data or which action cannot access the data. So this step will ensure that your data is protected. Question number 16. What is process advisor? Process advisor. It allows you to gain a better understanding of your business process so you can optimize them. It means this process advisor helps you or will advise to how and where to optimize your program. Question number 17. What is the difference between the task mining and the process mining? If you check our diagram, in our diagram, we have the task in the red color. This is the process mining. In process mining, we check every process and we record the data for each and every process. Then take the decision. But in case of the task mining, we go to the inside of the task and we record everything step by step. So this gives the full details of the task. Question number 18. What is AI Builder? AI means Artificial Intelligence. AI Builder enables your business to use intelligence to automate process. It means in AI Builder, we can use the artificial intelligence. And there are some predefined or pre-built model. So we can work on that model. And this AI can do the following task like extract information from the invoices, extract all the text in the photo and PDF, extract information from identity and documents, and many more. Question number 19. What are some of the pre-built AI models that is available in the Power Automate? So we can check business card reader model, category classi classification model, entity extraction model, ID reader model, key phrase extraction model, language detection model, received process model. So these are some predefined or pre-built model. We can work on that one. Question number 20. How do Power Automate and Logic apps relate to each other? Power Automate provides features that help line of business uses created automate workflow. But the Logic apps is an Azure service that provides the same great feature of Power Automate plus other features such as the integration with the Azure. Question number 21. Is Power Automate available on the on-premises? Answer is yes. Power Automate is a public cloud service only. And we can connect the Power Automate with the on-premises services. But we need the gateway for that one. Question number 22. What are the templates? A Power Automate template is a pre-created or pre-built or pre-defined flow that will allow you to automate a process in a minute. So as you can see in the diagram, there are lots of predefined or pre-templates in the Power Automate and some of we can check like the get a push notification when you receive an email from your boss. Then follow up on a message, get updates from the Power Automate below. Then post a welcome message when a user join a team. So these are some predefined or pre-built template, you can use the template and can create a flow flow within a minute. Question number 23rd, how do I connect to a REST API in my flow? We can create our custom connector using the JSON and we have to make sure that our connector must support at least one authentication methods out of given 10 authentication methods. Question number 24, what are the connectors in the Microsoft flow? A connector is a proxy or a wrapper around an API. It means we have a different type of services and suppose we want to communicate our automate flow with these services. So we need the separate connector for the separate services. So these connectors are basically are the API. Question number 25. What is Microsoft Dataverse? Dataverse basically is a database and it's very, very secure. In data words, data are stored in a table and in table there is a row 
and in the row we have a columns. Question number 26. What are the power virtual agents? Virtual agents. So power virtual agents basically it's a tool or you can say it's a very very powerful chatbot which is able to answer the question raised by the some people, customers or some set of teams. Question number 27. What operating system does the mobile app for Power Automate support? The Power Automate mobile app is available on Android, iOS and Windows Phone. Question number 28. Can flows be turned off or disabled? Answer is yes. We can turn off or disable the flow. But when the flow is turned on again, all unprocessed and pending events are processed. So make sure if you don't need the flow then delete that one. Question number 29. What is a web recorder in Power Automate Desktop? The web recorder, it keeps a track of mouse and the keyboard activity in relation to UI element. It means if you make the recorder on, then you can record the like your activity regarding the UI elements like which elements has been clicked. And during the each recording session, the recorder can generate both UI and browser automation actions. Question number 30. How do you access the database in the Power Automate desktop? In Power Automate Desktop, we have a database action through which we can automate database tasks. So guys, these were the 30 question and answer in the Power Automate. I hope these question and answer would be very very helpful in your interview. Thanks for watching the video.